Hello everyone, welcome to the JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about symbol and ones controller in the JMeter. So let's begin. So uh, basically, what are controllers in the JMeter? First, let's understand this thing. What are controllers in JMeter? Okay, so in JMeter, controllers serve two purposes. One, to organize your organize your your scripts and second the main purpose is to control the execution of your script so in most of the cases you might need to control the execution of your request you don't want to execute one request after another then another another you might need to control that execution so these two purposes are being served by the controllers so in this particular tutorial we will be discussing about simple controller okay and then we will see once controller okay and now what is simple controller simple controller does not have any functionality okay it's just a simple container okay and in that particular container you can place your request to make it organized and make your script cleaner and neater on the other hand the once controller will control the execution it will control the execution and it will execute the requests once per thread even if we use the loop in thread group thread group okay group so let's see how it works so first you will create a thread group okay and this thread group you will use two threads and you will loop it out three times three times under this thread group you will add once controller under this once controller you will add quest one and out of this controller means under the same thread group you will add request two okay request two now two into three means three iterations into two thread groups okay so when you execute this one so as per the definition this request one will get executed two times only and this request two will execute six times so this is a concept of using the once controller so once controller will get execute the request once per thread so there are two threads so this request one will get executed two times and the request out of the thread out of the once controller will get executed six times because we are having the two thread and we are looping it three times okay now let's see once group and the simple controller practically open the jmeter here first let's understand the once controller here so i'm going to add a thread group under the thread group going to add going to logic controller going to the once controller under this once controller i'm going to add one request so request one and and on the thread group level i am adding one more request and naming this request as okay now go to the thread group change the number of threads to two and the loop count should be three here okay so as per the definition what we have learned so far is that 
This request one is basically under the once controller and it will execute once per thread. So there are two threads. So this will execute two times and this is out of the once controller. It will execute six times. Let me go here, add a listener and now let's execute this one. Okay. Let me save this as once controller and execute this one. So now you can see that the request one got executed only two times here and here. And the request two, which is out of this one's controller got executed six times. So this is how you can use and utilize the one console controller as per your requirement. Now let's see how we can use the simple controller. Okay. Let me open the new script here. Let me add a thread group. Let me add some request here. Let me copy this request and paste a couple of requests here. Now we have a multiple request and we need to organize them. We need to place them in a folder. We need to structure them. Okay. For that, we need to go to the thread group here, go to add, go to the logic controller, go to the simple controller and we can cut these requests from here and paste here. So let's suppose all the requests present here belongs to the login module. So you can name it as login module. Okay. And tomorrow you have more requests based on different modules and the features. You can do that in the similar way. Okay. Now you have a multiple request here. And again, what I'm doing is that going to the add, going to the logic controller, going to the simple controller. I'm cutting all these requests here and pasting it here. And my, let me name it as sign up module. So tomorrow it will be easier for you to manage and to debug, or if you want to add or modify something, you can easily go to that particular okay, logic simple controller and you will identify the request where you want to modify. So that's how you can structure. So this simple controller will not have any kind of functionality. It is just a folder to organize or structure your scripts. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. See you in the next lecture. Thank you once again.